There's been many uh, human rights abuses over the past uh, year or so. Uh, there's been beatings of trade unionists, uh, uh, including myself. Uh, there's been uh, harassment and intimidation of trade union officials at various workplaces, uh, more particularly the sugar industry. Uh, there's uh, also been many instances where uh, the police or the military had intervened uh, to stop trade union meetings or even to sit in and uh, listen into uh, union meetings uh, uh, over, over this same period, there's been many instances where permits of uh, uh, permits or applications uh, from trade unions for permits to hold meetings have been denied. Uh, so uh, th th there's many examples of that. There's been a number of decrees that actually restrict and deny workers their rights. Uh, uh, more particularly, the uh, administration of justice decree uh, and its amendments that actually deny civil servants. Uh, the, their right to collective bargaining, uh, their right to pursue grievances to the arbitration courts, labor courts, uh, their right to challenge any decision of, of government, including challenging the decree itself, and uh, of course uh, uh, terminating all collective agreements that have that had been negotiated over many decades. The sugar mills have, have uh, I think, been the worst examples of viola violations of, of workers' rights. We've had since 2009 military presence within the sugar mills until this year and uh, who actually uh, supervised work, who actually uh, uh, disciplined workers, who also intimidated workers, uh, ensuring that there was absolutely no trade union activity within the workplace or even consult consultative meetings with management. Uh, workers were not allowed, or the unions were not allowed as well, uh, to uh, take up any grievances with the employer. And of course, we also saw the employer's attitude uh, here uh, change uh, and uh, absolutely having no regard for collective agreements that were in place or even the labor laws in place. So uh, we've, I think that the sugar industry is probably one of the worst examples of, of violations of workers' rights in the country. Immediately, we believe that all the decrees that violate international labor standards ought to be revoked uh, immediately uh, and uh, that uh, the principal labor legislation in Fiji, which is the Employment Relations Promulgation, be enforced. Uh, that, that, that would be our immediate uh, demand and, uh, uh, and, and, and of course that the government uh, must ensure that it respects core labor standards. Uh, that it's obligated to do by virtue of its membership to the ILO.